Allow me to show you how to color in your hand drawings with GIMP, Photoshop, or InDesign. Stick around. Okay, so I'm going to try to make this quick and painless. We are in GIMP and all you're going to need to do is once you've uploaded your image, you're going to save it to your computer and upload it to GIMP. So you're going to go to File, Open, and you're going to click. Now you have this preview window over here, so you make sure you're opening the right image and you're just going to import that right in and it populates like that. Now I have already colored this by hand and I didn't like the way it turned out but I did like the colors I chose. So I'm gonna open that file as well for reference and I'll show you what I mean. And you can do this with, if you have some other images maybe that you want to use, um, how do I say this? You wanna use them you know, t for reference for your picture then you can do that too. You can just open it as an, another image and you see up here you have you can toggle between the two so we're now looking at this particular image if you click here then you're seeing the one that you want to color in it's that simple now once you have your image uploaded here now you see my background is all nice and white I'm sorry if you can hear my kids screaming in the background but if you want to brighten up the background you're just you know the turn the paper white you're gonna go into levels and you're going to click the dark dropper and you zoom in and find like the darkest part of your picture and you just click it and it darkens up those lines and then you click the light part and you click the lightest part and that's it that's all you need to do for that so you can see now like the lines are super super dark and that's kind of I like it like that so that way it's just more vibrant so we're going to go right on in to our drawing that's already colored or you can actually just go right over here and choose the colors that you want but I'm not going to do that because I already have this drawing to refer to and I'm going to click the dropper and I'm going to start here with these purple socks I'm going to select the color and then click this bucket fill and with that bucket fill I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to color in these socks it's so simple all right, I'm just gonna keep going through. Pick the color dropper, go bucket fill, go back over to my drawing and bucket fill. And that's kind of light. Actually, I'll leave it like that. But if you want it to pick an even darker color in there, like just the little difference in shade. Okay, so now I'm just gonna speed through and fill all of this in. Okay, so if you notice right here, the whole background behind there and the sock and everything turned that red color. And to, in order to fix that, if you zoom in, you can see right here there's a break in the line and that's why this void space got that color. So I'm going to use my color dropper and take that color. I'm going to grab a paintbrush, this one right here, and I'm just going to go over and I probably could have made that a little bit bigger brush and I'm just gonna fill in that space so that's just one solid line and I'm gonna go back grab my color dropper I'm gonna select this background color here and use the bucket fill again I'm gonna go over here to that little void space oh no to this little void space and I'm gonna turn it the right color see how I did that there and that's it that's all you need to do
Okay, once you get all your colors in your drawing the way that you want them, then you're going to export your file. So you're going to change it to a PNG, and you might want to give it a unique name so you don't mix it up with something else. And so then you're just going to click export and click export again. And let's head over, let's head over to Canva. Okay, so once we're in Canva, I just created an eight and a half by eight and a half inch template. And we're going to upload that image right to this template. Okay, once you have that laid on the template, you're just going to right click it and set images background. Now you can also do this with individual drawings. When you upload it into Canva, you're just gonna wanna remove the background. And let me see if I have one I can show you. Okay, so you know I always got a Wanda image somewhere. I'm just gonna put that character on there and you see there's this rectangle around her and the background is white. This is also white in the background. I'm gonna show you that. So you see that there's this white box around her. What we're going to do is we're going to select the image and go to edit image. And then we're just going to click background remover. Now this is not a very good image for, for showing you this because there's going to be some void space and it's just kind of a pain in the rear to edit it. One of those things that I'm not so overjoyed about. So you're just going to zoom in as close as you can and use this little cursor. You hold down your left mouse key and you just kind of color it back in. And if your drawing isn't too complicated, it's not a big deal. So there you go. So then you're able to just add your images with no background. That is a um, premium option, I believe, the background removal. But I do have a link in the description box. It is an affiliate link. I will get a little kickback, but it won't cost you any extra if you want to do the free trial. And then if you like it, you can pay $12.99 a month and get Canva to continue to do all of these awesome little projects. I colored this image in the same way on GIMP. I uploaded it and I just used the color dropper and the bucket fill and just filled it in. So I tried to make that as simple as possible. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below and also go over and follow me on Instagram where I upload tips and tricks almost every single day that will help you on your book publishing journey. I hope that was very helpful and until next time, be blessed.